This is kind of the arm that, for lack of a better way of putting it, started it all. It's the arm that I first started self-harming on when I was a teenager. You know, it's it's been through a lot, and I've been through a lot, and I thought, you know, the best way for me to kind of move on past this would be to go back to where it all started and start fresh from there. So my name is Tanita Talget. I am 25 and I'm here getting a tattoo today. <laughs> I've gotten lots of looks, I've gotten lots of comments. Uh, people have taken pictures before on like buses, in public. You know, having the scars themselves was a very traumatizing experience, but then like, kind of the aftermath of it was very traumatizing too. But, you know, people taking pictures and being like, wow, look at this. Like that was definitely not something I was expecting to have happen. Um, yeah, you know, looking at my arm before, it was kind of, it was always, a little bit of a hurtful reminder of what I'd been through and what had happened and all that. Um, because I was looking to get my scars specifically covered up, I found Becky D as an artist who specializes in doing scars and also, you know, people of color, which, you know, uh, added bonus. So my name is Becky D. I am a full-time professional tattoo artist. I've been tattooing for the past six years full time. I suffer from dermatillomania, which is excessive skin picking to like an obsessive compulsive degree and um, CPTSD as well as eating disorders for anorexia and bulimia in my past and um, tattooing my body has covered the dermatillomania scars completely and it's also helped me deal with the mental scars from eating disorders. I tattoo any scar, um, but the one I see most often is self-harm. It's less common for tattooers to tattoo scarred skin simply because of a lot of uh, myths that float around in the industry about scarring like um, and how it'll affect the final product. I'll often use organics for scarring, especially heavier scarring, so lots of flowers, lots of animals, stuff that doesn't have a lot of heavy symmetry or strong geometric lines can draw the eye more towards the scarring as opposed to really obscuring it. Um, so the peonies are kind of um, a little bit of an ode to my dad. Um, I was not the most easy teenager, um, to put it nicely. <laughs> my dad has always kind of been my rock um, through everything and he still is today and uh, he loves to garden. Um, it's his absolute favorite pastime. And I wanted to get something that, you know, would remind me of my dad and kind of remind me of how, even though in my darkest times, there was still somebody who stood by my side 100% of the time. Can I touch? Yeah. Is it sensitive at all? No, okay. not at all. Perfect. It feels in a sense like self-harming when you get a tattoo sometimes, uh, especially depending on where you get it. So that kind of brought up feelings of, you know, like memories from the past, stuff like that, feelings of kind of guilt. At first, um, having gotten more tattoos and gotten more used to the feeling, I think I'm, I'm not as prone to feeling that way now. Um, but it definitely is during the process kind of a reminder of, you know, the self-harming. Um, but it's also a really good reminder of why I don't want to do it anymore because it hurts. <laughs> and um, that seems like a really obvious thing to say, but like when you're self-harming, it's like you don't even feel anything, right? So yeah. Looking at it now, I see, you know, it sounds cheesy to say it. I see hope. It's, you know, a symbol to me of like moving forward and getting past things that I honestly, truly believed I would never get past. So it, it means a lot. Definitely feel really excited that now when I look there, I'm gonna see this beautiful piece instead of, you know, a reminder of what wasn't really a great time in my life. I know a lot of youth uh, who attend the group that I um, am a staff at who self-harm. Um, who have mental health struggles, pretty much all of them are struggling with their mental health uh, and a, more than a handful of them self-harm. Especially ones that I've spoken to personally who say like, I don't wanna be self-harming, I don't wanna be doing this, but it, sometimes it feels like the only way to cope. And I'm hoping that with this tattoo, you know, I can kind of be like, 
you know, there are other ways to cope. And so I'm, I'm hoping that when they look at the tattoo, they see hope for themselves too. There are ways to move past it and there are, there are things that you can do to kind of make something really sad turn into something really beautiful.